Shohei Otani is the best baseball player right now, arguably the greatest of all time, and his next contract could be worth up to a billion dollars, David, but he's still not a household name. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we got to talk about some uh, viral sports questions right now uh, because I went on the MLB Reddit, baseball Reddit, some of the Asian Reddits, and people were asking the question, if Shohei Otani is potentially the most talented baseball player of all time because he's a great hitter and a great pitcher, the likes of, you know, which have not been seen since Babe Ruth, how come it seems like the American fan base or American, you know, endorsement brands don't care. Yeah, when is there going to be a candy bar named the the Otani bar? Right, because they got a Babe Ruth bar, right? Well, you know, I don't know if that time has passed. But anyways, guys, we're going to get into the comment section. We're going to talk about eight reasons why Shohei Otani is not a household name despite being the best player of a major American sports, guys. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we get into this. Um, I did notice, Andrew, on the Asian subreddits, they tend to more focus on the fact that he's Asian. He is from a foreign market where he mm -hmm. is a superstar in Japan, right? right? But obviously, what's big in Japan does not necessarily cross over to America. And right. likewise, there is a disconnect. Even though Japan is westernized, mm -hmm. they are not western people. But other people on the MLB and baseball boards, they were more like, no, no, no. It's not just because he's Asian. It's just because the Angels stink. That, that's the only reason why they're just not a good team. Yeah, guys, uh, we're going to go through the reason. But uh, real quick, I do think it's important to note the MLB demographic, guys. The fan base is that the MLB is actually uh, about 60% white. Okay, it's 50% male. And I don't know if this matters, guys, but the political affiliation, the main political affiliation is Republican. So I don't know if that contributes to maybe Shohei not being as big of a star as he's supposed to be. But what are you probably... trying to say? What are you trying to no, say? No, I, I, guys, no, I'm not no, all blaming it. No. I am I'm not blaming it just on the Caucasian male. There's a lot of other factors to consider here, guys. So before Asians, you start getting mad at these people, just listen to the video, all right? So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, uh, we are not subject matter experts on baseball, right? But no. we are subject matter experts on Asian representation in the West and, and just sports marketing in general, right? I mean, maybe not, you know, experts like I work at a sports agency firm. But just for a regular person, I know a thing or two. We think about a lot of things, guys. So I would say, I'm going to go through the reasons real quick and we could talk about it. I think number one, obviously, uh, he has a Japanese name. Even though it's not the hardest name to say, it's just harder to remember for American people. Number two, he is from Asia. So he doesn't really relate to the American experience or even the Asian American experience. He's not out there drinking boba and all this other stuff. Uh, Boba's big in Japan right now, though, so I'm sure he's had it. Dude, he, he needs to go on subtle Asian trades and pull a Simu and start drinking some, some taro milk tea. But I think the truth is he has his own world that he's like a tier one superstar in. It's, it's a true. little bit like Jokic. Jokic doesn't have his own sneaker. He, he should have been a three-time MVP, right? Uh... And we're just talking about Joker, but he's like a tier one celebrity in uh, Serbia. Right. Yeah. Right. Like even in maybe the Euro League period, he's just a tier one superstar. Also, okay, number three, let's be honest, Shohei Otani. He doesn't choose to speak English very often. I heard that he does speak English casually. He definitely can. He also learned a little bit of Spanish, but of course he doesn't give a lot of interviews and he does not speak a lot of English. Therefore, not, I mean, it doesn't make him very relatable when he does that, right? Like people don't get to know him and things like that. Yeah. I almost want to say though that, that that's partially a factor, but I almost want to say maybe even Ichiro was a bigger deal than Shohei, even though Shohei is in a way better than Ichiro. Oh, you mean Ichiro because Suzuki being like, he was bigger at his time? Possibly, yeah, I think it's arguable. Uh, guys, he's also in the, on the Anaheim Angels, which is a small market team. That sucks. So, David, this is kind of weird. This is kind of like, uh, I guess, if Giannis Antetokounmpo was on the Knicks instead of the Milwaukee Bucks, he would also be viewed differently well, too. Yeah, I think the Anaheim Angels are a local fan base. There's nobody who's a fan of the Angels outside of that locality, mm. right? It's like one of those type of teams. If he was on the Dodgers or Yankees, oh, the Yankees, my goodness. Yeah, I think it would be, uh, it would improve, but it, it wouldn't still be like what it is because a lot of people were saying that the age of baseball superstars is over because the Angels, I believe, Andrew, who do they have? Mike Trout? So, Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, and Shohei are going to be like the top three highest paid players in baseball. The Angels have two of them, but how many people would recognize Mike, Mike Trout outside either? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, maybe it's not only because Shohei is Asian, guys. Uh, obviously, Shohei has not really done anything viral or TMZ worthy. He hasn't dated Madonna like, uh, what was it, Derek Jeter or Alex Rodriguez no, did? No, 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 Dennis Rodman did that. 
No, one of the players, didn't Derek Jeter go out? With, uh, Derek Jeter went out with somebody famous. I forgot. Derek Jeter oh. dated like 10 celebrities. Jennifer Lopez, yeah. right? Yeah, a bunch of people. Anyways, why did I say Madonna? Gosh. Uh, but anyways, another reason is ba- baseball is dying, David. This is a huge conversation right now about how weekly baseball is uh, less watched or people seem to care about it less. But worldwide baseball games, like the big games, uh, are still watched a lot. Yeah, I actually think for me, just a quick thought, that's my number one. I think everything is a factor pie and there's a lot of different slices. Mm-hmm. I think baseball dying, it's almost like the biggest slice to me. I'm not saying it's not big in Latin American countries. Mm. I, I'm not saying it's not big in Japan and amongst like older, you know, corporate white guys. Right. But it's like, I feel like Latin America, they would more so follow the players from their countries. Yeah, let's just say a lot of Gen Z millennials, not as much into baseball. Also, uh, in baseball, there is actually a history of a lot of great Asian players. So I guess it's not that shocking to see a great Asian player. We have Ichiro, Hideo Nomo, you have Shin... Shin Su Chu, Yu Darvish right now. Maybe they're not as great as all as each other as Ichiro and as Shohei, but essentially these are very good Asian players. So it's not weird to see an Asian be really good at baseball, I guess. It's not as shocking. Yeah, shout out to Matsui. I remember, you know, growing up in Seattle, there were so many actually Japanese players on the Mariners because at one point the Mariners were owned by Nintendo. Japanese company. Oh. And then last but not least, I actually just think, and maybe this goes along with baseball dying, but there's not that many big household MLB names right now. No. Like, dude, I honestly, your average person can only name like probably 10 people in history. And if you talk to like NBA fans, they're saying Ken Griffey Jr. I don't know who else. No, I mean, Babe Ruth, Ken Griffey, Barry Bonds, Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Ichiro, Big Papi Ortiz, like these are the, I would say these are the names that even people who are not into baseball know. Right, this sort of permeated outside of the sport into pop culture, which is rare for baseball players. Right. Literally, Ken Griffey Jr. is the only baseball player in baseball history. I'm not saying Ichiro and, you know, uh, Shohei don't move units for like Asics or Mizuno in Japan. Uh I'm talking about in America for Nike. Ken Griffey Jr. is the only guy to ever move units in history. For sneakers. Wow. Like, people want the Griffies. Right, right, right. So, I guess you guys let me know in the comments down below which reason do you think is the biggest reason why Shohei Otani is not a household name in America, despite being possibly, if he stays on this trajectory, the greatest baseball player ever, which is a top three American sport. Yeah. You know what the weird thing is? I'm actually, like, I'm not fully in agreement with the MLB and the baseball subreddits, which I, I'm assuming are more full of, like, older white guys that are in their 40s. Possibly, I yeah. actually more agree with them. Oh. I think that baseball is really dying from a pop cultural standpoint, mm-hmm. and, and just the, the people are not individual personas. Mm-hmm. Because even Mike Trout, I, if I just pass by him in the, on the street, I don't even know if it would register in my mind. No, yeah. And he's no. like... A top three player too. Yeah, right? Aaron Judge, like, what does he look like? And Aaron Judge, it's he's on the Yankees and he looks like Derek Jeter. So he has, you know, almost like that clone thing going for him, right? <laughs> he's got the he's in well, he's Derek like, Jeter's yeah, shadow. He looks like Alex Rodriguez too, kind of. That's but, funny. But I'm just saying, where I'm like, yeah, like I, I just think that that's the largest factor. However, maybe number two would be him being Japanese, and then number three being the Angels suck. Right? Do you think how big of it? being if he was Japanese American versus being from Japan now because there's even another another step away from the cultural yeah. gap you know I, mean, I mean Jeremy Lin had a lot more articles written about his rise more than Yao Ming Yao Ming had like more like geopolitical like bridging the east and the west type articles but Jeremy's was more like hey here's this guy that we never thought would do yeah. this thing yeah. I think when you look at Shohei he's gigantic he's muscular so it does break some east asian stereotypes a little bit about being giant and muscular but outside of that he he looks like a guy who should be really good. Mm. Whereas like even Ichiro Andrew was very small yeah. and he had generated like a lot of power from a small body. David, uh, you know, I, I want to ask this question and this is a question that some people ponder on the internet. We also ponder ourselves. Do you think it's kind of weird or is there a correlation between the fact that baseball is dying uh, and that not that many people care about soccer in America, but Asians happen to excel at those sports a lot? Like, do you think... Like, once other types of people, other than the original group of people, start essentially dominating that sport, then that original group of people care about it less? Are you referring to maybe, like, let's say, for example, theoretically, if white women were super following uh, 
tennis when Steffi Graf was winning, and then it was Serena Williams, and Serena Williams sort of passed the torch to Naomi Osaka. Obviously, Naomi's sort of like taking a break for several years now, but it seemed like women's tennis is being dominated a lot by, uh, I would say, like black black or Asian women, right? Yeah, non, non-white people, for yeah, sure. I, That's I, women's sport, uh, women's tennis, actually I'll, I'll male's tennis. I, is I think if like the NHL was like 75% black, like the NBA or, or uh, NFL, I think the fan base would change. Yeah, well, I guess that's interesting. I mean, that makes that's all a little bit logical to be honest. Right, right. But I guess like, are people gonna pass the torch in baseball? Like, is there gonna be a surge of now Asians are gonna take over baseball? Because if there's one Shohei, why not? Is there there can be Shohei B B level right, Shohei? Right. Like, are they just scouting like Japan now? Yeah, like I guess. And once it becomes Asian enough, and obviously it's very Latino as well, so there's a large Latino fan base. But I'm I'm assuming that the white, black, or Latino fan base is not generally connecting with Shohei as much as they would if Shohei was yeah. more Americanized. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think even if he was like almost like a Ken Watanabe, you know, the actor from Japan who seems like, also he has a big international fan base because he's yeah. able to like sort of translate that like Ronin samurai vibe, but like in a Western way. Yeah. I feel like Shohei, he's just not, he's not about the flash. But there, all right, last question. Asian Americans, should we care about him more? Like, is it... Also understandable that a lot of Asian Americans don't, are not super into Shohei, especially if they're not super into baseball. Like for me, I'm not super into baseball. Shout out to Shohei. I acknowledge he's probably going to go down as maybe the greatest baseball player ever. It's kind of weird. Or at that least we don't most talk- talented. He's probably yeah. not going to win the most games yeah. because, you know, it's maybe hard he, to impact no, the game that much. He might not have really- the greatest career, depending on what team he goes to and what team he stays on, but he might be the greatest singular player. So I guess... Uh, like, should we should we care? We should care more. Yeah, I think that Asian Americans, I would like to see more Asian Americans wear Shohei Otani jerseys. Okay. But it's tough because the Angels, it's like kind of a whack team to wear their jersey. You know what I mean? Like, if it was a, <laughs> if it was Yankees or Dodgers, right. for sure, or even White Sox, like, people would go for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, soccer, you got Sun Heung Min, which is great. There's another couple other Koreans that are, and, that are like, top tier. Right, right, uh, right. In, in soccer. So I think, like... Should we, is, or is soccer just a world away? It's too foreign because it's also the greatest soccer takes place across the pond. You know what I mean? Right, right. So maybe that's another reason why soccer, we don't, we don't think as much about soccer. Yeah. I mean, I've just started to see people care more about soccer because Messi has come to uh, the MLS, but uh, it's an interesting question. Let us know in the comments section below why you think there's not a lot of talk in Asian America or just America in general about Shohei Otani's individual dominance. Is it a team thing? Is it because he's Asian? Is it because the Angels suck? Or is it just like everything all of the above? What's the biggest reason? I want to know what you think is the largest reason why. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. Uh, Leave your comment down below. Hit that like button. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.